Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to my video series on the shed. So this is the shed, and as you can see, as I look around, I see an anxiety-inducing level of clutter. This thing is a wreck, and uh, it needs to be fixed. I've got enough room and enough tools that I could have a really nice entry-level woodworking shop, and by the end of this series, that's the big plan. I think that's what we're going to have. So, a little bit about the history of the shed. This shed was built in the very early 90s by my grandfather. This property used to belong to my grandparents. And in 1991, Fort Harrison uh, local post was decommissioned. And when it was decommissioned, uh, my grandfather bought a barracks. And I heard that he bought it for about $90. And so what he did was he disassembled the barracks and he brought all the wood home and uh, used it to uh, build several of these outbuildings around this property. So a little bit more about my grandfather. He was born in the Depression and because of that he had a really intense work ethic, the kind of work ethic where you just don't sit still. It doesn't matter if you're retired or not. And he had to keep himself busy. And so uh, he retired from Ford Motor Company in 1990 as a millwright. And when he retired, he needed to keep himself busy. And so he built several buildings on the property as, uh, as a means of keeping himself busy. And so I would like you to take a look up here at the rafters and you can see that there's some little odd paint artifacts there uh, that would indicate that uh, this wood has been used before. But when you look at this building from the outside, you, there's just no way for you to tell that it was this wood was ever used before. He was that skilled of a craftsman when it came to building things. So, when we first purchased the property, um, we came out here and the shed had about eight inches of sawdust on the floor. And I thought, okay, well, you know, we can do this. That's fine. I got out a scoop shovel and a big uh, trash can and started shoveling. And very quickly, I noticed that uh, it wasn't just sawdust. It was sawdust and... Uh, something else and so I had the curiosity got the best of me and I'm glad it did because uh, that eight inch layer of sawdust was also um, on top of possibly nuts bolts rusty nails and screws or maybe a fairly expensive tool uh, an old uh, box wrench or a cold steel chisel or something like that so Instead of just scooping lots and lots of sawdust into the trash, I, it then became a get a scoop of sawdust type situation and then sift through the whole scoop. And it took a lot longer, but I reclaimed, once again reclaiming, I reclaimed all of those uh, tools and uh, they did not go into the trash. So mm, here we are again. Uh, the shed needs some serious attention. We've been on the property for about 10 years, and in that 10 years, uh, there's been a lot of neglect. Uh, the shed's been used for storage, and every time something needs to come out of the house, the quick, easy answer is to put it in the shed, and that's what we've done. And so, uh, you know, you take a look around the shed, um, right here, you've got, um, you can't really see it, uh, but that's a bandsaw. I got that from for Christmas from my wife. Um, that was probably the thing that inspired me to, to work on the shed. Also, we've got a table saw over here. It's full of clutter. It needs the rust removed from the top of it. Uh, we've got some shelves over here. Uh, I built those a number of years ago. You can't really do anything with it. You can't put anything on them or get anything off because it's got so much crap piled up around it. And then, you know, you look around here, we've got the tractor and the mower. And uh, we've got enough room to pull those out and pull them back in. And that's about it. Um, also, you can see we've got a 
sleeper sofa that hadn't been used in years. That's one of those situations where we just said, ah, get rid of it. And it's ended up out in the shed. And then off to the right, we've got a 70-ish year old fan. That's a Westinghouse mobile air. That used to belong to my great grandmother, Grandma Peak, and um, that hasn't been run in years. And I have thought that it would be kind of interesting as we go through the shed and we uh, find things like that, that I would like to do a segment at the end of each episode where we take one of these old things and there's plenty of it out here. We take one of these old things and just see if it still runs. So I'd like to make my way over there and we'll see if that thing fires up. All right, here we are, Grandma's fan. And we're gonna see if this thing fires up. gonna need an extension cord. Maybe this thing works. So we're gonna test the extension cord and the fan today. I don't think the extension cord is quite 70 years old, but it looks like it. like that all right so it works fantastic um, I'm, I'm as pleased as can be with that uh, I, I heard these things have different speeds on them that works off the switch still works it feels kind of loose in here Ah, but okay all right so that's gonna wrap up this episode of the shed um, and my plans are during the next episode we're gonna address the lighting issues in here so over the winter this year I came out and None of the lights would come on. It was really cold, and you know, with fluorescent lights, that's a problem. So, all the ballasts are either shot or in really bad shape for these fluorescent light fixtures. So, you can see over here, I've got uh, several LED fixtures that are ready to go in to replace the fluorescent fixtures. I've already purchased one to begin with and installed it. I love the way it works, the amount of light that's coming off of it. I think it's about 2,000 lumens with uh, yeah, 4,000 color, whatever that means. And uh, so uh, what we're going to do after that is we're going to take these fluorescent fixtures and uh, we'll do another episode where... I uh, take those apart, crack them open, rewire the ballast to remove it from the circuit, and we replace these bulbs with ballast bypass LED bulbs. So, uh, hope to see you soon.